pull around. There it is. <laughs> Happy days. We'll just get straight on with it. Right then, guys. Welcome to another episode of Hooked. My name's John Murray, and I'm an angling addict. And today, we're going in the Northern River Masters Qualifier 5 on the River Ouse below York. Last year I was drawn above the A64 road bridge. If you didn't see that video, I'll put a link to it up here. Uh, go and check it out after you've watched this one. Tactics today are going to be fairly simple. It's predominantly going to be feeder fishing. Um, but if it's going to be hard, I mean the river's low, then we might have to go in search of silvers. A couple of these pegs uh, will fish for silvers and your section might be one with those. So with that in mind, I've got a couple of bolo rods in the bag and the whip as well. Finally, just in case, I've stuck a waggler rod in. Right, we'll get down to the draw, get a peg pulled out, fingers crossed it's a good one. Right guys, that's the draw done. Uh, I've pulled peg 23, which is last but one on the palace. Um, hell of a walk, so I better get myself moving. But yeah, it was uh, won in the uh, York Summer League match there by Mark Leslie last week. Uh, he had to fish float in the end. Um, no skimmers to be had, but we'll see what we can do. I mean, every day is different, uh, but we've got a good chance. Long walk, so I'll get cracking. Stay tuned. Right guys, so this is the peg, 23, I'm set up out in the water there, uh, I've literally just gone for a really simple approach, got the 17 foot bolo rod set up with a 3 gram float, uh, there's very little flow, but we've got about 14 foot of water uh, just off the end of that, and then I'm just going to throw out a 30 gram feeder to the middle and basically fish for skimmers on that, typical uh, helicopter rig setup, and nothing more than that really, pretty simple stuff. There's a lot of boats out, but hopefully we'll be okay. Um, I've seen a few coming past, the, a little bit of wash coming over my platform, but that helps keep it clean. So I'll just mix up a little bit more ground bait for the inside line, and then uh, we'll wait for the whistle. Right, so this is my roach mix. It's a bit of black turbo and census lake predominantly. Tiny little bit of gudgeon black in there as well. Gives it a lovely aniseedy smell, does that. Um, all I'm gonna add in there is basically a few of these Dead reds and pinkies, and a handful of hemp and castor. That's going to be initial feed. I'm going to put this in right at the start, and then we're going to go out on the feeder, fishing with the same ground bait mix that I was using on the tees. So I've made my balls, I'm just going to put a slight skin on them. Just quit your hands. Just stop some breaking up. I've also added PV1 to these, so they're going to be uh, well formed. I've got an initial feed of five balls to go in. I don't intend to feed it again until at least midday. Right, guys, we're about three minutes out from the all in. Um, so the plan is five balls in straight on the bolo line and then just go out on the feeder just fishing middle of the river basically I'm not going to go too far there's a lot of boat traffic up and down today um, don't really see the benefit in fishing two lines here it's not particularly wide so uh, yeah hopefully those two methods will see us proud today just grab the bolo rod get ready to flick that into position and then throw our bait in and then get straight out on the feeder you're probably sick of hearing me bang on about it by now, but please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy them. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss an episode every time I upload one. It really does help me out. Thank you. That's it, that's time guys. So I'm probably only going to fish this float roughly in line with the end of the bush that's downstream of me. Maybe a little bit further. It's quite a nice area, I think. There's very, very little flow on it. That's gone in beautiful.
Right, so I'm just going to get a little bit of feed out there. Maybe six feeder loads. Just literally waiting for it to touch down and then shaking it out. Well, coming through, but it wasn't on the line. Thought I'd wait while I got through anyway. Yeah, that's five in. I'm gonna go out now. Small bite there. And an early fish. Roach to start. Another tiny indication there. They're looking like roach bites these right now. Yeah, it's gone round. Delicate little biters, but as long as we can hit them, that's all that counts. Yeah, it's a perch. Don't like to see perch second cast. Oh, whatever it that, hit it before it settled. Maybe a bleak. Have a little dab on the tip. Minuscule bites, these. Yeah. Tiniest, tiniest knock there. This feels a little bit better.
possibly a skimmer. Ah, I think it's found a blooming snag. I do not believe it. Snag me. Really? That's it, it's free. Gonna have to get them up quick on the inside there. That's a perch. So wishful thinking, hoping for a skimmer. Got another bonny little perch. Another bite developing here. Yep, fish on. They are tiny little knocks these. Not the easiest things to spot when you've got waves coming up the line. That's another perch. Oh, just tightening into the tip and got a fair old rattle on it there. I think we're building a few fish in the swim. Oh, that was just developing. I think we missed that one. Still sticking with red maggot, keeping worm going through the feeder as well. Just had a bit of a longer wait there. That was a proper pull round. We've missed it. I think there's some skimmers in the peg. So, I think already we've got a few bream coming. So I'm gonna get a bit of worm on. That's a knock-on worm. Just a tiny, tiny bite. Might have been a perch this, but that's going around. That's that definitely feels like a bream. I thought that last bite uh, could be a perch this. It's knocking away. Felt a good fish to start with. I think it's a perch. If not, it's a skimmer. It's a good bite though. Yeah, perch. So that plan didn't quite work out. If the bream had moved in, I'd start putting the caster through the feeder, but right now I don't want to introduce it. 
maybe just going to be a perch there. Can't tempt to bream shortly. I'm going to have a look on the bolo, see if we can catch faster on that. Another rattle on worm, straight away. There's a lot of fish down there. Sometimes you just got to get what you can out of this river as quickly as you can. You can switch off midday. Although, quite a cool day today, so I expect it to fish most of the day. And just a small perch again or something, nosing at the end of this worm. So it seems a bit slow on worm right now. Getting the odd knock as soon as it goes in, but then it's not coming to anything. So I'm just going to cut it out of the feeder for now. Go back on double red. One live, one dead. So this feeder swim seems to be dying off already. It's uh, just getting very cagey bites as soon as the feeder goes in and then they're not coming to anything. Just going to cut down the amount of particle going through the feeder. See if we can pick another fish or two up and then come and have a look on the bolo if this is going to be slow. With that boat going over the top, would have helped. It was very close. Now that took a fair while to develop. Again, I don't think it's anything great. It's definitely taking a bit longer to get a bite now. Probably in a good couple of minutes that. Oh, it's a lovely roach though. Beautiful roach. Ooh. Quick bite there. Just about hit that. That's round. So maybe it was roach moving into the swim. perch again. Right, gone quiet again on the feeder line. So, a couple of minutes there with nothing. I think I'm going to have a look on the bolo now. It's been settled for an hour. Hopefully the ground bait aren't washed away with all the boat traffic. Um, I made it pretty heavy, so it should be down there. Next to no flow on this river today. Certainly not on the inside. Got to be some fish willing to come and sit over that ground bait though. A 
apologise for the noise as well, there's helicopters and boats going past all the time. I think the race, yacht races are on. Well so far the bolo is looking disappointing. Absolutely no sign of any kind of bite there. I'll just try a pinky on the hook. Seems to be quite snaggy as well, just retrieved a tree. <laughs> I need to shallow up a little bit. It's just not moving. Is that a bite? No, that's another snag. Cannot believe it. Oh, well. Snag city. I'm have to pull for a break on this one. We're out. Got everything back, the hook's bent, but we got it back, so I'll take a bit more depth off. I'm not sure you can avoid these snags. Just reduce it by 8 to 10 inches, certainly not fishing bottom at that. Oh, there's a fish biting on the drop, something's definitely got hold of this now. Yeah fish. Small fish. Just a bleak. And again. Another bleak. So the bait not managing to get down on the last two casts. The same again. Might end up getting bleaked out here. The bleak attacking the pinky. Let's put the big red back on. Snagged again. Definitely a problem, full of snags out there, again, maggot getting attacked by bleak. If I don't look like the bolo is going to work, probably not worth spending too much time on this. I may loose feed over the top and try and feed a few off. Uh, they're straight on this bait. Even with that three and a half gram olivet on. Double red. Trouble is if I get to the bottom then I get snagged. So what to do? That's a bite. Better bite, but it's a bleak again. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's a flying bleak. It's gone. So I seem to be able to avoid the bleak by fishing double red, but not that many bites coming on it. What I'm going to do is just drop a couple of these uh, droppers down the line to get a faster fall on the hook length. So just space them roughly every six inches now. Try and get past these bleak on the way down. Got to be something better than bleak sat over that ground bait, surely. The cruise boat's turning around in the peg above me. I bet he's not happy. Just full of snags. Full of snags. Right. Don't think this is going to work out. I'm going to give it one last throw. I'm 
It's looking like a Blake bite again. Something straight on that. Yeah, fish. So we know we can catch a few bleak if we need to. Um, I'll probably just start loose feeding that, try and feed a few off or get a few more in the area. There's virtually no flow on the river. In terms of presenting the bait, there's just so many snags down there. It's potluck whether you get through them or not. I tried casting beyond them, inside of them. And they're just branches sticking up all over the place. So we'll get back on the feeder. Well, it's even looking quiet on the feeder. This is uh, typical ooze, this midday turn off Well, it's all looking a bit desperate. Got another perch. It's not looking like the bream are going to show. Certainly not for the next hour or so. So I think what I might do is set up a little waggler rod. And just try and fish shallow for a few bleak. You never know. If there's no bream come out, although I'm sure there will be, up by the palace. Um, it might be enough for a section place today. Okay, so we've got the little waggler rod set up. A 14 foot waggler rod anyway, with a 2 gram Drenum Visiwag 2 on. And I'm just fishing it, whoa, 4 foot deep. I'm just going to start spraying maggots. See if we can't get a few of these bleak going. Just keep something going in the net. Yep, yeah, that's a fish. We're probably not going to win the match doing this. We'll certainly go back out for a look for another bream on the tip. I'm just thinking, well, it's really quiet, middle of the day. Keep anything going in the net. You never know. We could get some of these bleak, decent size. Certainly, looks like there's plenty of bites to be had. Ooh. Fast bite that though. Ridiculously fast bite. Another fish. It's come off. No, I'm still got it. The minuscule.
I'm used to boats coming through, but this is ridiculous today. It's getting on my nerves. There we go. <coughs> now I know that the chap in front, chap to above me, has had three roach and two perch because he's been on the phone <laughs> I don't know how many times doesn't sound like a lot's been out but you never know I'm pretty sure this section will be one with bream but sometimes it's these little backup weights that make the difference at the end Yeah, I could sit here and sit here and sit here waiting for a bite from a bream and it not turn up. And I might catch more. Getting the odd perch here and there. But it's just so slow at the moment. The bolo's hard work with all the snags. And I just think, give the feeder line a little bit of a rest. Just keep putting something in the net. <coughs> go back and have a look on it shortly. Last hour, you never know, you might get a bream. Doesn't seem to matter where you throw this waggler. The river's just full of these bleak, absolutely chock full of them. That's another. And they have a habit of jumping off the hook, I've already lost one. <laughs> Ah, oh, see what I mean? Another one off.
Right, time for another little look on the feeder. It's two o'clock. So we've boosted our weight a little bit. I think six or seven pound might be winning this section. But I'm only going by what I can hear next door. Just do with a couple of big skimmers. I've just mixed up the last of my ground bait, uh, made six balls. I'm going to try and fish out straight in front of me. So not too far out, there's not a huge amount of flow on it. Just to try and avoid those snags that we were hitting before. And then I'm only going to give it five, ten minutes. I'm going to go straight over the top of it. See if we can get anything going on the float. It's not fished at all. I don't think it'll do it in any harm. The feeder line's well away from it. So it's do or die time. So we'll have a quick five minutes on the feeder with the worm. And then I'm gonna go over it. If not, we'll probably fish the feeder out to the end of the match. But if it's very, very quiet, I'll just try and pull another pound of uh, bleak together. But I think really at least that last half an hour has to be on the feeder. Unless of course that bolo line starts to fish. There's a knock, a little knock on the worm on the tip. Very, very slight. Sounds like the chap above me has got a couple of pound. All he can get on the tip is perch and he's fishing the float. There is literally bleak topping all over the inside down here. It's ridiculous. They're just everywhere. River's full of them. I don't weigh much though. Maybe I should have just set the whip up and gone slaughtering them. Well, the feeder just seems to have completely switched off. Not a tiny indication there, but it's not gone round. Only a small bit of worm. So I'm going to have a look over this bolo line now before it gets too broken up by the boat. I 
hopefully we won't get snagged but there's probably not much chance of that uh, the bleaker on that already it's ridiculous even the bleaker on the bolo you might as well just catch these on the waggler So, I'm going to shifty the Olivet down a little bit more. Try and get through them. <sighs> Straight into a snag. Don't understand what's going on with this line. It's just full of snags. Lost the hook length. getting bleaked again can't get through them so it's bleak or snags for me on the bottle I'm now fishing about two foot shallower than what I plumbed up this morning just to try and avoid these snags they're just great big branches off trees and they're obviously sticking up off the bottom there's no way of tripping over the top of them there's just not enough flow that's another bleak just hitting that float straight away I just don't think there's any way of getting through them. You either might as well fish for them. Or stick on the feeder. Can't get the bait down. That one's off. There we go, finally, got the bait down, pick something a bit better up, it's a roach, lovely, Ooh, nice roach as well, just in the lip. Could just do with a dozen of them. Well, it looks like we've got a bleak attacking the float again. Right, I'm going to try a caster. See if we can keep away from the bleak. That was a bite on caster. Snagged again. Another bite on caster. Are these bleak? Was straight on top of it, but couldn't hit it. Suspect maybe they are. Well, we're struggling for a bite on the bolo. I think even the bleak have switched off. This boat traffic has churned all the silt up on the inside. It's really quite coloured in here.
and that is another snag this is the problem the bottom's just covered in branches willow branches everywhere now one more sling on the bower see if we can pull a Another nice roach out, or a perch. But no, it's a bleak. Bleak on that straight away. It's just not going to fish the bellow. Tried everything I can with it. So I don't know. Maybe it's a struggle everywhere. Maybe we should just try and get another pound of bleak. What if I fish this like a whip? See what happens. Crazy. There we go. Need about thirty two to pound. <laughs> I think we can catch them fast enough. It's pointless feeding. There's so many of them.
Right, as much as I've had fun catching these bleak on the waggler, we've got 45 minutes left to go. I think it's now time to sit out on the tip, see if we can get a bonus fish. That's five minutes on double red there, absolutely nothing. So we're going with worm. Well, the signs aren't good on the feeder. There's literally nothing doing. No knocks, nothing. One last chuck. And I'm just gonna plug away with a bit of weight on the uh, float. It is what it is. And finally, a little knock on the tip. Red maggot and a single pinky hook bit. There's another little rattle. It's just not coming to anything. The tip is done. Yeah, chewed up maggot, but just tells me it's a small roach, even a bleak. boat's going to turn around in the swim. Well that's going to ruin it. Quick look on the bower while it's turning round. to a snug again. Okay, what? So the bolo is just being unfishable, completely unfishable. And if there was anything left down there, they're definitely in after Captain James Cook's just turned around on top of me swim. So I'm just gonna finish the session, catch a few bleak. Well, even the bleak seem to have switched off now.
in some very dodgy baits. Chuck it in up time. Well, that was a drop back. There's definitely a bait there on the worm. Is there a bonus fish out there waiting for us? Last 10 minutes. Might have just been a perch. There's definitely something on this again. Could be perch again. Is it going to develop this? Some fish back in the swim. It's rattling. Surely that's on. It is on. I think it's just a perch. Suck in. So last cast, I reckon. It's on the worm. Got about three minutes. That's the church bells, so I imagine that's time. Can't hear the shout because the boat's gone by. But I'm going to wind in anyway. So that's been disappointing. Haven't been able to find a bream today. Um, the bolo line was incredibly difficult. Just too many snags on it to fish it effectively. Um, even fishing a couple of foot off deck, you know. <laughs> well, I couldn't get through the bleak, as you saw. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll weigh in, see how I've done. I can't imagine it's been enough at all, but uh, it is what it is. I tried my best and uh, onward and upward to the next one. Right, stay tuned, we'll get the weigh in. It's been hard in here like, got a few early doors on feeder and then it just, by half past 12 it died as it usually does. <coughs> but, but, I couldn't catch on float deep, it's just been so snaggy out there. <coughs> Ridiculous. Bang on the bottom. Three, 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 three. Thank nice you very one. Much. Thank, very you. Thank you. Three pound three of that fault for fish. Right, well that's it guys, uh, £3.3 three I've weighed there, so again, no good, but what can you do? I feel like I got the best out of the peg today, uh, tried pretty much everything I could. I just don't know what else I could have done to try and get a bream or some better fish to be quite honest. Um, it's just how it goes. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, you know the drill. Thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Right, I'll get the results up for you now.
thanks for watching and until the next one take lines